now i will create migration and create table in laravel this is the database and if i go to the php my admin you see that there is no database here one thing i want to tell you that in my application when i will give you the source code you will actually get these all these items and here i will create a db folder so something like this here uh, for example here db folder db i will attach my sql file into the db folder so that you can get all my sql files so i just tell you in advance this one so that you can get your sql file here okay now let's start now i what i will do if this is my dot env file and here you see that my database name given laravel so here in the terminal i am going to run a command that is php artisan make migration i am not going to create table now i am just going to create migration just remember that my database name is laravel that is not created here i will create when i will migrate but before running the migrate command if you run the migrate what will happen if instead of make migration if i just use the migrate command then what will be done then what will be happened in the database folder you see that there is a migrations folder and into the migrations folder you will see that there are some php files create user stable.php create password reset token stable create failed job stable and create personal access token stable that means if i just run php addition migrate then total four tables will be added into my database as table that means total four tables will be created here under a database that is laravel so i can do that also first for example these are the migrations code written into this tables for example if i go to the users table here actually the migrations code are written i am not going to touch the default tables what i am going to do php artisan migrate i just enter then it is telling me that there is no database by the name laravel so i am going to create the uh, database yes so i write here yes enter now if i come here refresh you will see that i am going to refresh if uh, you see here you will uh, see that here is a laravel database created and all the tables are here here total four tables have been created failed jobs password reset tokens personal access tokens user tables so four tables should be created but you see that there are five tables where what is the another one that is migrations when you will run uh, the migrate php partition migrate command what actually be, will be happen all the table codes all the table creation codes that was written into all these files will run and these four tables will be created but with that another one will be created that is migrations if i go here what is here here you see that the migration names are 2014 10 12 create user stable this is the migration files name actually because if i go here you will see that the file name is what 2014 10 12 this one so this file name has been added here into the migration list so total four tables are created so in the migration list it has been entered those four tables name that was given here and bash means one when i will run the php addition migrate command each time to create a new table so each time uh, it will be under a bash it can be happened that under a single bash i can create two tables or i can create only one table also so i will show you that don't worry just try to understand how i can create table using the migration now let's uh, add another table for example these are the default tables that were here users table this password reset fail just personal access token like this i want to create a system where i will add the students 
so there will be a students table so what i will do before creating table yeah this migrations is actually not mandatory in laravel you can just skip the migrations you can just manually create all the tables from here manually for example i want to create a table just i will select the database then here i will come and here i will give the table name number of columns create then i will give the fields name manually you will write everything then it will be created but that is actually not recommended method because in laravel when i will create a table that will be added into the migrations list and this is the standard because sometimes i may need to roll back the my migration or i can uh, it can be needed to do other some other task so for that reason in order to tracking uh, you should use the uh, standard system so i am going to show you that system for example i will create a table that is a students table and always remember that you can give a table name student but you will have to give it students that means the uh, plural form you should not use any singular form when you will when you will create table so this is not mandatory but this is recommended okay so here i will create a migration table like this this four are created you can manually create any migration table here by your name but i will not do that also everything i will use using the standard procedure so here i am going to run php artisan make migration it is not migrate migrate means all the migrations will be run but migration make migration means i am going to create a migration file so just use make clone migration then a space and here you should give here the name that is create then your table name so my table name will be students and then table so this is the format you should follow that is first you will write create then you will write the table name and then you will write the keyword that is table so this one now what i will do i will just give enter if i give enter you see that here a new one comes here so the table name the migration file name is now this actually the first one is 2023 that means when i created this migration file that date is given here that is 2023 06 and 02 so uh, june 2 2023 right now here is a create instance table i am going to open this and if you look at the migration file you will see that there is a up function and there is a down function so up function actually means if i run this migration this up function will work the, the down function when it, it will work the down function will work when i will roll back any migration for example i just going to create a table a students table so this function will actually create my tables but in this function down function you see that in the i, I already a uh, code is written here that is the schema drop if exist that means if there is found any table in my database by the name students it will delete the table so in the case of rollback we delete the table i will show you this when i will work with the rollback but for now just focus on the up method because i will create a table that will be students okay so this is the primary and auto increment id field so i am not going to touch it the time stamps you can create or not that is actually up to you if you create or if you give the time stamps as a function then in your table two fields will be added one is created at and another one is updated at this one created at and updated at but if you do not want to use time step you can skip by i will recommend to use this one here i am going to create more fields for the student for example there is a field student name so you can use the string the string is actually the bar character uh, if you create manually any table from your php my admin you will see a field that is bar char. so a string is actually the bar char. So you can give here any string name, for example, the name, student name is on field. So all the field names you will have to give here. 
yeah, I can give here another another one that is student role also I can give here description like this so description should be a long text so instead of a string you can use that text you can also use that date here right so like this so you can do anything if you want to know more about this string text etc you can check the documentation of laravel so i am going to search laravel documentation enter just go to the official documentation of laravel and here you can just search here you can just search here or uh, by the migration database migration i click here and here you will get all the field names and other things you see that table integer this is one you can use the ip address you can use the increments you will already see this also you can use this line string long text you see that i use here text but if you want you can use here long text it's set of things you can check from here so in the mysql you already know there was a text that was a long text so this equivalent is long text if you go to check the id uh, this is the uh, primary big increments this method it will be used and here are many other things here on is float you can use the float you can use the double you can use the decimal date okay date time and care so big integer big increments etc are given here so you can use and here you will uh, see a list if i go to a string that i'm going to use you see that and in the string you can also define the maximum number of uh, characters allowed for example a student name should be maximum 100 so you can just define it like this 100 role should be for example 10 digit you can give here the role 10 so in this way you can also do that and i told you that the string is actually the varchar equivalent you see that here it is uh, told that the string method creates a varchar equivalent column for the given length so just go to the documentation and you will understand many things now name role description is okay now i will create the table if i create the table if i create the table for example php artisan migrate if i want to create the table i will have to run this command php artisan migrate enter you see that migration is successful if i now go here if i refresh you see that new table comes that is the students table and all the items i gave here is coming here on his name you see that i limited it to 100 the id is actually the big integer 20 and role is 10 i did that and in the description i use the text you see that and these two are coming for the timestamp function so i hope you have understood how to create new tables using the migration i can also add another table then i for example i am going to create for example migrate teachers table okay so teachers table so from the students table i am going to copy these three items and i am going to to the teachers migration file and here paste the same three items but in the case of teacher there should not be any role here i am going to remove it just two items okay i can create another migration create uh, for example users uh, user already there uh, for example guardians guardians table so in the case of guardians i also add these items and name and description is okay now in previous i added a student what was changed in the migration i am going to show you i create in the first migration all other tables but in the second migration i created a student's table right so if i go to the migration list you see that the base is two that means first time when i run the php addition migrate command all these tables were created the second time this table was created students and i created i run another time the php addition migrate command so this is under base 2 so when a successful migrate command you will run it will be a single base 
if I run now the PSP artisan migrate, PSP artisan migrate, it will check that which migrations were not in the list. So those tables will be created. If I run enter, you see that in this migration, two tables are created, teachers and guardians. So I am going to check it. You see that teachers are created and guardians are created in this migration. If I go to the migrations now, you see that in the best three, two tables are created together. So this is actually the functionality of the migrations in this table and in this way it will enlist all the bases like base 1, 2, 3 etc. So I hope uh, you have understood how to create tables into the database using the migration files.